Cortisone injection for knee osteoarthritis needs to be a medical reversal. What do I actually mean by that? Well, all the evidence now suggests that cortisone injection for knee arthritis may help slightly in the short term, but it may harm slightly in the longer term. That does still mean there is some role for cortisone in specific situations, such as at the end of a pro or elite sporting career, and perhaps even at the end of a long life um, when you have someone who's very elderly. But for most people who have got years of their sporting career left or years of their life left, the longer term potential for harm outweighs any short term potential for benefit. So in most situations, we should stop using cortisone injections for knee osteoarthritis. A question that gets posed is, well, what do we replace cortisone injection with? And the answer is really clear here. We need to replace it with exercise therapy because it's got the best effect of all of the therapies we have for knee osteoarthritis. Exercise therapy is really exercise dosing. That's really important. We've got to look for the optimal dose for the, for the patient or the person. For some people, that'll mean doing less exercise, less loading, and other people, more loading. So for, for a group of people, and it's probably the minority, you've got a knee that's symptomatic because they've been doing too much loading recently, and they need to unload and read back, reload back to a lower baseline um, because they're trying to push their knee beyond what, they, what has the capacity to do. But for a larger group of people, they, their knee might be symptomatic because of a recent increase in load, but their underlying problem was a low baseline load, which actually needs to increase. And this is counterintuitive, but we've got to help these patients recover from a short-term exacerbation and then work towards a higher baseline of activity so that their knee's got more resilience. Now, we have big, big issues with the structure of knee loading, the way our societies operate and the way our sports operate and the way our health systems operate. And this is where our management of knee, knee OA needs to get better um, and needs to have a more preventative frame rather than um, reacting to acute flare-ups. In sport itself, we need to remove some of the competitiveness at com community level sport, which tilts people towards pushing through the pain barrier when they're injured. We can live with this culture in elite sport, but it's not as healthy as community sport. And we've got to look at the cost it's got on um, the musculoskeletal system. We also need to have better ACL prevention programs in community sport. Um, they're in their infancy, but they're an another important way that we can reduce the burden of knee osteoarthritis in the longer term. However, the much bigger rock is at the other end of the spectrum, getting inactive people to be more active. Um, so there's so many areas we need to improve, better walkways and cycleways in the community. We need to reform office work so people aren't seated for eight hours a day and they do more incidental walking. But our health system also needs radical reform. Sadly, our hospitals discourage physical activity for patients, even though physical activity prevents major diseases and keeps you out of hospital. Our aged care homes discourage physical activity for residents, even though physical activity wards off deterioration in old age. And even psych rehab centres discourage physical activity, even though physical activity improves mental health. And our health systems tend to fund practitioners more generously who perform unnecessary and harmful surgery and prescribe unnecessary and harmful drugs than practitioners who, who are specialists in exercise dosing and who are helping to give the correct treatment of prescribing exercise in the optimal dose. So cortisone injections need to go for knee osteoarthritis. They need not to be replaced by an alternate injection or drug, but by optimal exercise dosing. And I'll finish off by saying it's similar to coronavirus. At the moment, we've got um, strategies that work for coronavirus that we don't find palatable, social distancing and quarantine. Um, but We've got to look at what works, not what we'd like to work. And um, just as we need to use public health measures for improving coronavirus outcomes, we've got to use public health measures for um, improving the osteoarthritis outcomes, not ineffective drugs and ineffective procedures.